Today is December 7th, a date that will live in infamy, by the way. This is uh, the last phase of my journal notes that I'm going to be conducting this year on the experimental Kellaloot here in Malaysia. I'm using the HT92, the batch from 8001. This will be my last feeding for this year before I have the material inside this Kellaloot characterized. I'm going to take a look. You see all the stuff we put in there over the past week is gone. Kellaloot looks beautiful. They're building new hive up here and they're starting to bring the honey up from down below. I'm just going to take, this is the, the really, really nice stuff. This is the finest stuff we made back in North Carolina. This is 20 microns. This stuff is so nice. It, it, this stuff will be going in a day. I'm predicting. It's so fine. It's absolutely how nice that is. It's about the size of a pollen grain. About 20 microns. Mm, it's got the stevia in it. Tastes real sweet too. Okay. So, I've got a lot of nice hive building going on here. They've closed the hole that I created in the fenestration here. In the next couple of days, after this material is gone, I'll take this to a laboratory and have it characterized, or else I'll send it to the U.S. Biological or the Botanical Testing Lab in North Carolina. If I can't find it, we already have it set up. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. With the USBSF. I want to close this up. Yes. They're familiar with our work there. Yeah. So, here we go. Very good. Is that material? This is really nice material, too. Mm -hmm. The flowability. Yeah. And it's a year old. So. It's still powerful. Still powerful, still, still palatable. No mold. No. Nope. Of course, you won't have any mold on that. Nope. So, okay. December 7th, 1941, the date which will live in infamy. Remember this day, huh? I'm still filming. <laughs> 